Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The status of martyrs in the sight of their Lord. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, and the martyrs with their Lord will have their reward and their light. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Martyrs have a great status and a noble rank because of the sacrifices they present for their religion and nation. Though they have left our world, we recall their memories forever out of recognition of their favor and in appreciation of their heroic actions. Moreover, they are alive with their Lord, receiving His matchless generosity and His limitless graces. The Almighty Allah also said, You who believe, seek help through steadfastness and prayer, for God is with the steadfast. And do not say that those who are killed in God's cause are dead. They are alive, though you do not realize it. It is reported that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, met me and told me, O Jabir, why do I see you upset? I said, O Messenger of Allah, my father was martyred in the battle of Uhud, leaving my family and in, in, debt behind. He, peace be upon him, said, Shall I give you news of what your father met Allah with? He said, Of course, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind a veil, but he brought your father to speak to him directly. He said, O oh my slave, do you wish that I give you anything? He said, O oh Lord, give me life so that I, ma I may fight for you a second time. So the Lord, the Most High, said, It has been decreed by me that they shall not return. Jabber said, So this ayah was revealed. Do not think of those who have been killed in Allah's way as dead. They are alive with the Lord well provided for. Martyrs hold the highest rank and the best degree among humans. This is why they became after death in the company of blessed people, including prophets and righteous persons. Allah Most High said, Whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger will be among those who has blessed the messengers, the truthful, the martyrs, and the righteous. What excellent companions these are. This is because they are people who hold a winning deal. The Almighty Allah said, Allah purchased the persons and possessions of the believers in return for the paradise. They fight in Allah's way. They kill and are killed. This is a true promise given by Him in the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. Who could be more faithful to His promise than Allah? So be happy with the bargain you have made. That is the supreme triumph. In addition, the reward of martyrs increases over time till the day of resurrection. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The actions of every dead person come to a halt with his death, except the one who is on the frontier in Allah's way. This latter's deeds will be made to go on increasing for him till the day of resurrection. As martyrs live life willingly and sacrifice themselves for the sake of their religion, with full consent, the Almighty Allah honored them by saving them from the pains and throes of death. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The martyr does not feel the pain of being killed, except as any one of you feels a pinch. And instead of martyrs, houses in this world, the Almighty Allah give them houses in paradise that are matchless and nothing is better than them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Last night two men, angels, came to me in a dream and made me a second tree and then admitted me into a nice and excellent house, the like of which I have never seen before. One of them said, This house is the house of martyrs, 
the Almighty Allah makes the spirits of martyrs live in enjoyment in paradise, as the Prophet, peace be upon him, said. When your brothers were martyred in the battle of Uhud, Allah put their spirits in the crops of green birds, which go down to the rivers of paradise, eat its fruit and nestle, in lamps of gold hanging in the shade of the throne. Also when the mother of Haritha ibn Suraqa asked about the destiny of her son after she had died as a martyr in the battle of Badr, the Prophet, peace be upon him, answered her, O mother of Haritha, in paradise there are gardens, and your son has attained to the highest one, Al-Firdaus. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that martyrs are good offspring, who are descendants of pure and righteous families. Their families have raised them to sacrifice themselves for the sake of their religion, nation, and honor. This is why Allah rewards also the families of martyrs for their good education of their sons. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The intercession of a martyr will be accepted for seventy members of his family. We stress that martyrs are noble persons who realized the truth and defended it and sacrificed themselves for its sake. They defend their religion, land, honor, nation, and the security and safety of their countries. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who dies while defending his property is a martyr. He who dies in defense of his family is a martyr. He who dies in defense of himself is a martyr. And he who dies in defense of his faith is a martyr. This is why the martyr's deeds and actions for the sake of truth are among the best action of worship. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Shall I not tell you of a night better than Laylatul Qadr, the one who keeps watch at night over the troops in a land of fear, namely war, for that he may not return to his family? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Two eyes will never be touched by the fire of hell, an eye which weeps out of fear of Allah, and an eye which spends the night in guarding in the cause of Allah. May Allah protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world.